another episode of Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue. On today's episode, I'm doing a collaboration video. Uh, we're going to call it the, Reg the Regulators Regional Cook-Off Collaboration. And it's a group of guys and I, and we're doing signature dishes from our region. Uh, it's going to be Daddy Dutch Barbecue and Cooking. Cooking with CJ, myself, Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue. And there may be a couple of others that I don't remember. I'll let you know by the end of the video who they are. I'll also put a link to their channels in the uh, description below. Uh, but for today's video, I'm going to be doing barbecue beef plate ribs. Those are those big giant dino ribs that you see that are always so tasty. I'm going to be doing them outside on my kettle grill. And I'm also going to be doing a version of Texas Flag Pie. Now I got this from uh, Urban Cowgirl. You guys can go visit her YouTube channel also. I'll put a link down in the description for it also. Uh, she did a video showing how to do this and I'm going to be doing basically exactly as she does in her video and making that Texas Flag Pie. So I'll be doing that as well and y'all be sure to go check out her channel. She's got some good stuff on there. But uh, anyway, why don't y'all come along with me and I'll show you how I'm going to do these. Come on with me. Alright, here we are. We're about two hours in. These beef ribs. Uh, they're looking pretty good. I'm going to show you here in just a second. You can see the temp right there is showing about 300. It's reading about 50 degrees high from what the actual temp is. I've got my probe in there so I know what the actual great temp is. Let's open this up, take a look at it. There we go. We're starting to get some pullback going on them bones right there. You can see I used my charcoal grate. I got some mesquite chunks up in there. And that's where we, that's what we're looking at. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here are our monster beef ribs. As you can see they've got some excellent pullback coming off of these bones. I've got it on the other side as well. It's beautiful looking. Uh, pulled them out. Internal temperature uh, right around 200. I wasn't really looking for a temperature. I was looking to see what the uh, feel of the probe going into the meat was. And what I was looking for was it to feel like going into a block of soft butter or possibly even a block of jello. But I'm going to show you what that should look like. Boom, no resistance. That's that's on the bone right there. Just that's on the cutting board. Just like that. Now I did once I pulled these out, I did let them rest for about 30 minutes or so. Uh, typically I like to let, let them rest for 45 minutes to an hour. <clears throat> uh, it's later on in the day and I am hungry right now. So I could not wait that long. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and cut into one of these. Which one should we do? What, what do you think about... Let's, uh, let's cut into this one. Oh no, it pulled off the bone. <laughs> oh no, that's all right. Look at that beautiful rib. Look at that, that is absolutely gorgeous. You can see those juices just dripping out of it when I squeeze it. That is absolutely incredible. All right, you guys, next we're going to be doing the uh, Texas flag pie. And uh, I got to give credit to uh, Sarah Penrod over from Urban Cowgirl. Uh, Y'all go check her channel out. I originally saw this pie, this uh, Texas flag pie video on her channel and I got her permission to go ahead and make the exact same recipe and use it on my channel in this video so uh, stick around a bit and I'll show you how we're gonna do that pie
All right, so uh, we're here. We're going to show you how to make this Texas flag pie. I uh, got this via Sarah Penrod over at Urban Cowgirl. You guys go check her channel out. It's got a bunch of good stuff on there. Uh, anyway, to do this, you need the colors of the Texas flag, and that's red, white, and blue. So we're going to use blueberry pie filling. cherry pie filling and apple pie filling alright it's gonna be real easy what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna open these okay so we're back again now I'm gonna try and do this right this time uh, yeah as I was saying got this recipe and this idea from Urban Cowgirl. Uh, Y'all go check out her, her uh, channel. Good stuff. Alright, we're going to take two ready to bake 9 inch pie crust. The, the roll out kind. And you're going to take and just kind of roll it out. Take your fingers along as you get it out. And just roll it out. So be careful, being careful not to tear it or yank on it. Roll it out like that. All right. Then you've got your nine-inch pie pan. We're just gonna set it down in there. And you want to make sure did you get all the air, poke all of the air bubbles and everything out of there. Get it seated nice and good down in the bottom. Make sure to press all the air bubbles out. That way it doesn't do anything funky or anything with the filling. When it, if it heats up, it tries to rise up and mess up your designs on the insides. Okay, that should be good. All right, now, now we can go ahead and uh, put our filling in. I'm going to use this blueberry filling for the blue. Don't ask me how I know, but I do know already that it's going to take most of this can of blueberry for this side. Kind of smooth it out. Try to get a smooth line here. There we go. Alright, then we're going to take and we're going to put our apple for the white up on top. Perfect, just like that. And then we've got this cherry. And we're just going to spoon out into this other little quadrant. It looks like we could probably put a little bit more blueberry in there, which I believe we will. And just spoon this cherry out. Be sure to get some cherries in there. Into the other quadrant, just like that. You know, pardon my dogs, I don't know if you can hear them in the background, but I certainly can. They've decided that it's apparently time to rough house in the house. I got two six-month-old Great Dane pups, so you'll uh, pardon their noise, I'm sure. Okay, so there you can see we have the basic elements of the Texas flag. Now, the Texas flag also includes a star right here. So for our topping on this pie, I'm going to move this out over here. This pie crust package came with two. So we're going to go ahead and open this one. And we're going to roll it out just like we did the first one. Taking care not to rip or destroy it. And this would be 
a lot easier if you could find a Texas shaped cookie cutter or if you have star shaped cookie cutters and I don't have either one of those so I'm going to have to do this by hand so what I will do is I will lightly draw my star there I think we can make that a bit bigger let's draw my my star and we'll mash these lines back together and then we'll cut it out she did a lot better job of it in her video than I'm doing on mine I'm sure Okay, so there's our star, and then I'm just going to cut out some more smaller stars since I don't have a Texas shape cookie cutter, and I don't know how to do a Texas, I can't draw a Texas shape, I'm not that good. We're just going to do stars. Just some more smaller stars, you know. Alright, and then what you do, and we may need more, so we'll see. Oops, I forgot, I forgot one. What you do is you just pick it up. And just arrange your stars. Probably going to need, that should be enough. Okay, so there it is. Now with this, we're just going to take, with the edges, we're just going to take and we're going to kind of push it in and crinkle it up just a little bit. Just so that it crinkles up and in, in towards the pie just a hair. Kind of making a sealed off bowl, kind of. Think of it like you're making a uh, taco salad bowl. Just, I said just a little bit, not the whole damn thing. Okay. Now, we're going to take some egg wash, and I got this egg out of my chicken coop. I didn't realize I was out of eggs. And I looked, and I didn't have any, so I had to go run out to the chicken coop and grab a fresh one. But that's okay. Fresh ones are better anyway, right? We're just going to do an egg wash on this, uh, on this uh, pie dough right here. That's what help make it look all nice and pretty. I don't want to worry too much about the dark color of the egg wash. It's because they're natural, homegrown, homemade eggs. And it's perfectly natural. Alright. And what you're going to do you're going to take and you're going to put, put that in a preheated oven which mine is preheated to 375 degrees you're going to bake it for about 25 minutes or until it's nice and done looking kind of golden brown on top and uh, we'll be right back to show you that
All right, guys. Here is our Texas flag pie. You can see we got the blueberry filling, the apple filling, and the cherry filling. Now you can put more pie crust on top if you want. This is just how I decided to do it. Kind of let the colors of the flag kind of pop out more at you. So if you want to and you want more crust on top, certainly don't be afraid to do it like that. that that'll that be fine. Uh, but anyway, this is it. I think it turned out pretty good looking. I'm not really a baker, but this turned out pretty good. So anyway, if you like the beef ribs that we're at the beginning of this video, and if you like this Texas flag pie, which again, I'll give credit to this to Sarah Penrod over at Urban Cowgirl. Go check her channel out. She's the inspiration for this. Uh, but yeah, if you like these two out, uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the like button. Leave a comment. This is a collaboration between the Barbecue Regulators. Uh, it's cooking with CJ. Check his channel out. Daddy Dutch Barbecue and Cooking. Check his channel out. Myself. Scott with In for the Grill up in Canada. He's in it. Uh, who else? Lewis at Our Shark. Our, wow, let's say that three times real fast. Lewis at R Shack Barbecue. That's R Shack Barbecue. He's going to be participating in this. There may be a couple others that just haven't let us know yet. Uh, but yeah, I'll leave links to their channels in the description below. Go check them out. They got good stuff. And we're going to have regional stuff from all around the country. We'll see you next time on Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue.